Hey there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one and it is a gorgeous concertina pouch. Now I've got a tea bag inside here, but I've set the size and so you could fit three by three cards and envelopes in it. And it's so cute. Undo the bow and inside there you've got a little concertina. So I, like I say, I've got a tea bag in here, so you're pretty much gonna fit any kind of size tea bag in there. Um, fit between the concertina parts, but as I said, it's going to fit three by three cards and their envelopes, which are bigger because actually this is three and a half by three and a half inches. So in metric, it's actually nine by nine centimeters. So a three by three card in metric is seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters. So you've got plenty of room to fit actually quite a lot of cards and envelopes in there. And it actually closes up, so it's got a deeper base than it has the top. And I just think it's rather lovely. And I use background bits for the sentiment on the front. And it says, you're always so thoughtful. And a nice, it, this could be a nice after Christmas gift or even a hostess gift. If you're perhaps visiting somebody for New Year celebrations or even Christmas celebrations, you can take them a nice gift. And I thought that would be lovely. Or you could even make it as a Christmas gift. You're getting the point. There's lots of options for it. Knew I was never gonna get that bow tied again. I'll have to fiddle around with that before photos come along. But I'm gonna show you how to make it. And it's a great use it up if you've got leftover paper. So I've obviously got a year of cheer here. And you need two pieces of cardstock that measure three and a quarter by four inches. So eight and a half by eight centimeters. A designer series paper that is three and a half by 10 inches which is 9 by 26 centimeters so we'll do the paper first and score it at we're only scoring the long side three and a half five eight and a half and nine and a quarter inches which in metric is nine twelve and a half twenty one and a half twenty three and a half centimeters okay and then on the designer series paper, you need the, uh, sorry, the cardstock brain exited the building, didn't it? We're going to score the long side and we're score, going to score every half an inch, or if you're working in metric, every one centimetre. Um, don't worry about writing everything down. It's all over on my blog. Click open the description bar here on this video and it will down below and there will be a direct link to this project with all photos and everything and obviously if you're watching this on my blog instructions are below so every half centimetre or every one cent sorry oh every half inch every one centimetre now we don't need to go crazy on the burnishing because we do want this to pop open a little bit but you need to concertina it as I've done there like that super easy you know me, I don't do complicated. <laughs> she says, looking to hella left and knowing what video is coming out next week. Okay, it's not complicated. It just looks complicated. So those are the concertina sides done. And this, again, this one you do want to give a bit of a burnish to. So just run it gently over with your bone holder. On my original, I just left it like that. I hadn't rounded the corners. I do have a corner rounder that is attached to my envelope punch board, but thank you very much, Jenny, who put a corner rounder in the post to me. So I'm gonna give it a whirl. We need to bring our corner rounder back, don't we? There we go, just cutely finished off. Right, so this is going to concertina, and the way I like to do it, I like to have this loose edge, oh, let me see where you can see it, this loose edge on the inside. So you glue it there and then that one will glue and you get this nice, you get the nice edge, if that makes sense. So grab your fuse or your tear and tape. I'm going with tear and tape on this. Apparently I'm not, that's just run out. <laughs> It's just to the left. Is 
there one in there? Yes, phew! I had no idea that had come to an end, literally. Right, brand new tear and tape. Okay. So run that down this part here. And you want to do this on all four of the, the edges. Because obviously you've got two here and you've got two over here. Okay, so start by taking off the adhesive, off the, the backing of one of them. Okay, and remember I said I wanted the nice part on the inside. So that is going to line up here. And just bring it ever so slightly away from the edge. So you can see there's a little, diddy little bit of a border. Don't worry about the other side, we're going to come to that. And the same over here. And again, you want this loose edge on the inside. A little bit of a border. So you can see it's beginning to come together. Slightly more fun getting this to wrap round. So you kind of need to squish it back down. Peel off the backing and get hold of it all. And you can line it up by eye. Like that. Okay. Obviously I need to repeat this on the other side. So let me get it all squished down. It's like a jack-in-the-box squishing it down for it to pop back out oh <laughs> fling the project across the room so squish it all down and again you can eyeball this and you will know that it's lined up this might be a good liquid glue option if you're not quite as brave as me but that has all gone into place absolutely beautifully and now we just need to wrap it up close it up and get it tied up so i've got berry burst i've got two i don't know if i think i fancy the crinkle i think i fancy the crinkle let's have a bash see what happens So ribbon round, and you kind of want the ribbon to finish closer to the top than the bottom because obviously you want to get a nice, nice greeting on there. I was reading in a Facebook group somewhere the other day, and somebody said, "Does anybody else want to iron their crinkled ribbon?" No, I don't. I don't do ironing. Life is too short. Um, but quite a few people said that yes, they did, and. There were varying suggestions. Somebody has got a miniature iron. Somebody else said hair straighteners. I kind of like the crinkle. Right, let's do some stamping. So I've got two pieces of cardstock. I've got Whisper White and I've got Berry Burst. This measures six and a half by three centimeters. So in, in, in metrics, it's two and a quarter by one and a quarter. And this was obviously that little bit bigger, quarter of an inch bigger half a centimetre bigger. Berry Burst ink and my lovely background bits. So I've got You're Always So Thoughtful and these little bits. I just thought they were really lovely. So let's grab a block, let's grab a clean block and I'm going to line this up and not headbutt the camera if I possibly can. Where's my Stamparators? Have you ordered yours? Have you got yourself on the reserve list? Open till the 31st of this month, 31st of December, Stamparators. And it will then ship during March, so you're not paying now. If you don't get it now, or if you don't get it by the end of this month, it will be out in the annual catalogue, so it depends on how impatient you are or not. I'm very impatient. 
matching flowers. I'm hoping my stamparatus is coming very soon. dimensionals for this because I want them on the outer edges so that I can still slide my ribbon around. There we go. Pretty pretty even with a wibbly bow. I had to get that sorted for pictures but that's so lovely. And you can definitely fit, although it has got the four little slots, one, two, yeah, four slots for cards. You can fit way more than that. And obviously tea bags and all sorts. And yeah, love it. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to switch you very soon. Bye.